A phone call this August caught homeowner Trinita Rogers by surprise. The caller asking when she was moving out. And I said, what do you mean? He says, well, I bought your house in an upset bid. This was news to Rogers. She had already paid off her Pitt County home of 12 years. So I kind of thought it was a joke. But she soon found out this was no trick. Her home, valued at $413,000, was sold for just $221,000. It turns out her HOA foreclosed on her home 11 months ago, after it says Rogers didn't pay her dues. Well, why didn't you pay the $1,400? What's your response to that? That's all I hear, and I say... I wouldn't if I'd known. Rogers claims she had no idea she was in an HOA. She also says she got no notice of the debt or the foreclosure or even of the sale. No one ever came to your door. No one ever called you. No one ever sent you an email saying you owed this much. No. Court documents show this isn't the first time that the HOA has placed a lien on her home in 2013 and in 2017. Still, Rogers said she got no notice then. This time, Rogers was mailed letters, but she says she thought they were legal advertisements and never opened them. And she never signed the official papers. The HOA never served her lawsuit papers. They just didn't do it. That is fatal. Chapel Hill attorney Jim White is now helping Rogers in her fight for her forever home. The thought that someone could just casually move forward and take someone's home over a $1,400 debt right. without turning over heaven and earth to make sure that they knew just seems wrong. The HOA management company declined to comment, citing the pending lawsuit. But the I-team discovered the association filed liens on five other homes last year, all for less than $1,200. So I think the problem is there really is no such thing as HOA foreclosure defense in North Carolina. The law is tilted heavily in favor of homeowner associations. White says HOAs are run by national management companies that have lobbying power, and there's no oversight. The law allows the associations to foreclose and sell homes with debts of only hundreds or thousands of dollars. But White questions if it's ethical. First thing is to make it harder for an HOA to foreclose. I mean, they're just simply people who don't understand that it's too casual a process. I, I think the process should be a lot harder. There should be strict notice requirements and strict proof of notice. Rogers has a court date next month where she's going to try to win back her home. Now some tips for you. Before you buy into a community, know if they have an HOA. Read those bylaws. And once you're in, vote for the board, participate, go to those meetings so you stay informed. For the I-Team, Smith Coomer, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.